so there's haptics, there's vibration going on here. So yeah. uh, we're here at Novacentis, and who are you? I am uh, Francois Zano. I am the CEO of uh, Novacentis since about a year ago when we restarted the company with a new market focus on uh, wearables technology. So here's, uh, this is potentially going as a, uh, and the whole wristband of a smartwatch? Yes. So what we do is we replace those kind of vibrators, those kind of actuators, which are uh, motors with an eccentric mass. And when the mass yeah. rotates at a specific frequency, the system enters in resonant mode and starts to vibrate. Yeah. So people use that to vibrate phones and uh, the silent mode on the phone is using those kind of motors that vibrate the full device. We replace this actuator with a film-based solution. This is uh, yeah. one of our actuators. So it's made as a, from a polymer, and this polymer has some piezoelectric properties. When you apply an electrical field, the polymer extends. And if you yeah. attach it to a substrate... Can you put it on your hand like this? Yep. So that there... So it's very thin, compact. Very thin. It's like a piece of paper. It's very thin, very flexible. And when and you apply uh, an bunch of these, field, you can have a bunch of these on, yeah. a, on a strap. Is that what you do? Yeah. So you have four there? That first. So yeah. what's happening is that when you apply different electrical voltage, yeah. the actuator can vibrate the surface of okay. the product that it's attached to. All right, so you see here we can vibrate very slowly, a few hertz. So we can vibrate it at a very high frequency as well. Can even vibrate it in the audio range, so this can be a speaker and make 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 some sound. Oh, which you cannot do with a normal uh, vib vibrator. Yeah, the only sound you get is zzz that most people can kind of find very annoying. So how how fast can it vibrate? It can go up to the uh, kilohertz range. Kilohertz. So very very fast. Thousands per second. Thousands per second. All right, and there in this. Uh, so what strap? we do, our solution is re really ideal to vibrate locally straps and other device that you want on you. So any kind of wearable device. In this particular particular example, we've embedded four different actuators directly inside the wristband of the device. So it's very flexible. How is it flexible? Well, it's very. Everything it, is flexible it, in there. Everything is flexible. Yes, it's it's a it's a film. So so everything is very flexible, and the idea is to have it embedded directly inside the wristband and vibrate the, the wristband in different locations. So nice. we can not only create different effects on each of the uh, actuators, so very slow vibration or very fast vibration, but we can also create patterns by actuating on one side or the other side. So then it's very easy for user to feel different sensation and associate different sensation for different type of notification. This could be uh, gigantic with the patterns. You can feel your mom is calling. You don't yep. need to take the phone out. Exactly. You can feel the good, boss. Very good use case. It's like the alarm is yes. different. Or, or many of those wearable devices have sensors like heart rate monitor. If you want to run at a specific pace, the heart rate monitor is going to tell you that you are not running fast enough. And you could feel the vibration maybe on the left side of your wrist that tells you run faster. Or if you are not running fast enough or slow, too slow, not fast enough, the other way around, basically. Does it help to uh, strap the the wrist strap uh, tighter, and then you, you 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 can feel things more precisely, or uh, uh, how, how is it going to be? So and uh, how about this? Does it vibrate in that part too? Uh, yeah. So let's see if you can see that. It's, uh, again, you need to really feel it to get a sense of yeah. what we are talking about. But let's. Uh, I think you can probably. Can you see? It? You can see it moving here. Yeah. What moves is really the actuator inside the wristband that create a local vibration just on top of the actuator. So, it's so very in this area, how many can you have? Can you have four or four can you would have... not be that useful. I think one is probably enough. Yeah. But the idea is to have one here, one here and one there for instance. Right. Then when you when you have it on your on your wrist. You and you get feel, used to it. You can get used to it and you can feel and learn the different vibration and associate the different vibration to different type of notification. This is awesome. So, uh, what's the what's the cost and what's the power con con compared to a right. traditional uh, power? Power consumption is very similar to those devices. Yeah. Uh, the power consumption is not really the power budget for those kind of uh, devices is not very big. 
compared to the to the screen, to the wireless communication, to yeah. some of the sensors are much more power. Less than one percent or something. So in that case, notification you need uh, 30 to 50 notifications per day. So we are not talking about a, a big amount of power. Can it be sun powered on a solar powered smartwatch? I mean, it doesn't uh, use again, so much power, right? Yeah, it doesn't use a lot of power. It uses much less power than the screen, for instance. The Bluetooth 4 is going to use something, and then there's an e-ink watch, and then your haptics. It'd be awesome if it could be solar powered. It could be awesome if it could be solar powered, yes. But again, we, d we are not really the main power driver for those, yeah. those kind of devices. Uh, other sensors are much more power hungry than what we do. So how far are you from mass production? So what's the next step? So what are you going to do now? So we started the company at the beginning of the year with a new management team, a new uh, market focus, and we also changed the manufacturing strategy. We are now looking at using manufacturing partners to make our products. So we're in the process of transferring our technology to our manufacturing partners. One of them is uh, Kemet, who is a manufacturer of a film-based capacitor. They use the same kind of process to make capacitors that we need to, do to make our uh, actuators. We expect that uh, they will be in mass volume production towards the end of 2016. So we are still like 9 to 12 months away before we are in full, full, uh, full production. All right, so uh, any of the uh, device makers should just start contacting you and, yep. and putting this stuff in, in their devices? Yep, that's, Anybody? Uh, well, today we can, uh, we can make actuators in our lab in low volume. That's an example of our actuators made, made in our lab. So we can today support uh, OEMs and customers so that they can make uh, prototypes with our technology. So yes, we are ready to support customers today with, again, uh, the, the capability to be in mass volume production around end of 2016. So when you see one of those small, what do you call one of those? We call that an actuator. And one actuator. Is one there actuator. a specific size for it and a specific uh, power that comes? Yeah, like, uh, how can much does it vibrate? We can make it. So the size depend, is directly linked to the strength of the actuator. So bigger actuator will have a bigger strength. So you can uh, vibrate a larger surface. Uh, but a larger actuator is also uh, requires more power on the electronic side. So the, the, the size you just saw, 10, centime, 10 millimeters by 10 millimeters, is a kind of a good size for a wearable device. But we, could make in, we can make them in any kind of size. Nice. So are you already talking with everybody? We are talking to many OEMs. Uh, everybody is really interested in creating better use, uh, notification system. We are talking to a few OEMs that are building prototypes with our technology. And again, with, uh, with the plan to be in, in, uh, in, uh, out with the first product towards the end of 2016. All right. I hope you're speaking with the Swiss so, watch guys. Yeah. Uh, I want to see this in Swiss watch. Yeah, they, they you have a us. classical watch, but you can feel stuff in it. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, so maybe so an adapter that goes with every watch. So uh, the, the, the strategy of the company is not to make finished product at the moment. So, so we love to work with people who are making actuator. I mean, who are making accessory to existing existing uh, standard size uh, uh, what's it called watch band yep so then it can go with any watch yeah, is so that possible I mean, Montblanc I think is doing this uh, oh, yeah? with uh, maybe a uh, large semiconductor vendor so, so we are talking to some companies that are looking at those type of applications so retrofitting or uh, upgrading existing watch with some s smart electronics in order to provide additional functionality I really hope Swatch contacts you and then use the e-ink and then goes with Bluetooth 4 and just makes it work. Yes. And two months battery or more are unlimited so right with, with solar. That would be great. Okay.